Good morning from Virginia Beach, Virginia. You know, I get a lot of comments lately. Oh, well, this one really got me. I think it was yesterday. Well, you've given up wire antennas. Stop it. <laughs> I haven't given up anything. I like to experiment with each and everything I can get my hands on. You know, I know I've written a book on wire antennas, and that's obviously my favorite thing to do is to build wire antennas. And um, I just, you know what? I want to experiment with everything, especially as a YouTuber, but also I kind of want to learn as much as I can about all antennas. I mean, as this, my journey goes on in ham radio, I'm pretty soon I'm going to be building stuff like, uh, you know, I want to build a hex beam, a moxon, you know, vertical ray. I got a lot of stuff I want to build. So I know lately I've been doing a lot with, you know, the, the purchased telescopic whip type antennas or whatever. And you know what? Yeah, okay, let's get out on the beach and, uh, and, and put up a wire antenna. Today I'm going to build something I've never built before. I've done some research on it and it's really foggy, the research. But I want to build a 3 8 wave vertical. Now that should improve the takeoff angle over, over a quarter wave. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it resonant or not. Uh, we'll see. I, everything I've read says that feed point impedance on the 3 8 wave is somewhere between 200 and 300 ohms. That means it could be anywhere between a 4 to 1 and a 6 to 1 on unneeded or balanced, whatever you want to call it. I've got a 4 to 1. I'm going to build one, get it up in the air, and we'll see how it works. Stick around. Okay, here's my setup today. Uh, there is my DX Commander 10 meter expedition pole. Wow, this thing is, uh, let me back out here. And the wire is uh, not all the way up. I would say it's uh, <laughs> 3 eighths of the way, no, I'm sorry. Uh, probably about three quarters of the way up anyway. It, the pole is somewhere around 32 feet and this thing measures uh, 24 feet, seven and seven eighths. It's the total for the wire. Okay, let's go take a peek at it here. Back out here with my number one all-time favorite, the greatest radio ever made, the Zygu G90. Got a short piece of just five meter coax. Down to a four to one ballon, LDG four to one ballon. And a 16 gauge speaker wire. What I did was when I spliced it, split it in half, I used the one counterpoise, the other half of the speaker wire. So the counterpoise is literally the same length as the uh as the up the driven element i've got it just like right here at the edge single counterpoise right down here at the edge of the surf here right edge of the water but there you go and here it is on the dx commander pole taped every uh i don't know a couple a couple meters it's taped to the pole and then up so there it is on the pole. This is the Chesapeake Bay somewhat. This is the Chesapeake Bay meeting the Atlantic. That's the Atlantic right there. If you go that way, it's the Chesapeake Bay, but there it is. There's the setup. Three eighth wave vertical, something I've never done before. It's all about experimenting, right? Let's experiment and see how it goes. Okay, I checked SWR, played around a little bit with it, and uh, it's not perfect, but it's in well within tuning range, especially with the, uh, the Zygu G90 tuner. It was hovering just over three to one, so I could probably take an hour or whatever it would take to trim it and whatever, but you know what? I don't have a lot of time. I want to get out here and activate real quick and have some fun, so we're definitely going to use the, uh, the ATU on the, uh, on the G90 to get going here, so let's go see if we can... Uh, if we can make some contacts this morning here on the beach. Perfect. I had a hard time hearing you the first go around in your 5959 five, plots now, so whatever you put together for the antenna, that's uh, <laughs> kudos. That's doing a fantastic job. Portable is always fun, and uh, the beach would be nice as well. So what kind of WX do you have today, 70, 80 degrees so far? It's a pretty good discovery. Uh, the SWR is decent on 40. When I say decent, decent enough for a tuner. It looks like it's about... Uh, a little over, about 2.5 to 1, so we could use this on 40 meters. Let's give that a shot. Okay, the Kilo 4, I think it's Kilo 4 Oscar again again. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, K4OGO at Park US 1299. Roger. 
Roger that. You guys are both about a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five on the beach here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Park US 1299. Roger, 1299, we're in Uncle Sam, 8353, 8353, QSL. QSL, QSL, thanks for the uh, contact, have a great activation, 73. 73, you too, my friend, thank you for your patience, sir. The band's kind of rough this morning. Hey, no worries, good to make the contact, my friend, 73. Uh, Ralph, sir, thanks for the book, thanks for the book. Hey, enjoy it, enjoy it. Roger, thank you, sir. 73, QSL, parts on the air. Wow, interesting morning propagation-wise on 20 meters. I'm trying to check into the uh, Southern Cross net, and I'm hearing other people like domestic in the States here. So the net's kind of a mess, and there's really not a lot going on there. I'm starting to hear some faint Europeans right now on 20 meters, which that's not out of the question, but it's been the last few weeks. I haven't been hearing Europe this early in the morning. I guess that's a good sign for the future with what's going on right now with, um, you know, if, as we start uh, the seasons changing a little bit and the uh, propagation and what's going on with it. Still not a great morning for DX, and I'm not blaming that on the antenna. I think it's just the conditions right now. What I think I will do, since I'm here at a park, I think what I'll do now is just go ahead and uh, spot myself and do a POTA activation and see how that works out. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, calling CQ, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ, Parks on the Air, this is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, calling CQ, CQ, CQ Poda from Park US, 1299. Kilo Alpha 8, Golf India Mike. Kilo Alpha 8, Golf India Mike, thanks for coming back to the call, name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango, I'll give you a signal report on the next go round, I'm at Park US, 1299. Roger, Roger. Uh, Walt, uh, name here is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, and you're coming in 5353 five, into the state of Wisconsin. Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, calling CQ Poda from Park US 1299, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Kilo, Kilo 4, November, Bravo, Echo. Kilo, Kilo 4, November, Bravo, Echo. Wow, great signal, 5-9 here to Park US 1299. Roger, Roger, I'm right next door in Norfolk, right next door. Which park are you on? What's the name? Over. I'm at uh, First Landing State Park, which used to be Seashore State Park, if you're uh, familiar with the area. Roger, Roger, lifelong resident. I still call it Seashore. That's, that's what I call it. Over. Roger, Roger, so do I. I've been camping here my entire life, and I'm in my 60s, so it'll always be Seashore State Park to me. Very good. Okay. Hey, I enjoy your YouTube videos as well, Walter. Nice meeting you. The name here is Mike. Mike India Kilo Echo. You have fun out there. Enjoy your weekend. Over. Virginia Beach, Virginia. CQ Poda. Alpha Hotel 2, Echo Juliet. Maritime Mobile. Yeah, Maritime Mobile. Hey, Walter. This is Shane. Uh, Alpha Hotel 2, Echo Juliet. I'm aboard uh, the uh, uh, Stiletto. Uh, I'm with uh, Dennis and uh, Stephen, and we're getting ready to get underway to do some uh, training this morning. Over. Hey, yeah, that's awesome. I Man, I, I envy you guys. I wanted to get into that. I just didn't have time to do it, but I'm so glad you guys are out doing it. I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, we, we hope to, uh, you, you probably will see us uh, pass uh, up north as we uh, go on uh, on the uh, adventure. But uh, good to uh, work in. Hopefully I get in your log. And uh, if you want two more operators, I've, uh, I've got these guys here. Uh, I can pass it off so you can uh, work your activation over. Yeah, roger that, and I'll probably see you guys coming through. I'm looking right at the Chesapeake Bay uh, Bridge Tunnel right now. I'll probably see you guys if you slide through there. I'll see you, but definitely put the other operators on. Love to make contacts and get them in the log. Yeah, roger that. Stand by for a second. How you doing, Rob? Doing great. Sitting on the beach, man. Having a great day. How about you guys? Yeah, that's awesome, man. You guys have a great day. It's good. It sounds like a fun, uh, a fun adventure, and, it, and it's uh, going to be a great experiment there, is too. Hey, great to get you in the log, and uh, great talking with you there. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, back to you. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, We'll get lots of pictures as well, saying get them close to the line. So, uh, let me send you over to Dennis. This is KC4, uh, CW, 73. 73. Hey, Walt, this is uh, 
Dennis, K4 DGW. How are you doing today? Doing great there, Dr. Dennis. How's it going? Sounds like you guys are getting about to get underway. Uh, uh, roger that. Yeah, the engines are running. We're going to get a safety brief in a minute, and then uh, and then we'll be underway for this uh, HF uh, experiment. Man, that's awesome. Like I told you, I would have liked to gotten involved. I just haven't had the time. I've been so busy, but I'm, hey, I, I hope everything goes well and you guys have a uh, successful one and enjoy, enjoy the day there. Uh, Hayes gray and underway there, my friend. Uh, roger that. And it's, uh, it's cool to see that the amateur radio community and the, the DOD community is uh, comparing notes and taking a look at their technologies and seeing if we can come up with solutions. This is uh, Dennis K4 DGW. Uh, Hey, thanks, Dennis. You guys have a safe, safe day, and I uh, hope all goes well there. And I agree, it's good to see uh, Amateur Radio and the uh, DOD working together. Go Navy for sure. All the best in '73, my friend. Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Go Navy. I know it's cool catching my friends on the ship there. They're going out and uh, doing an HF test. Uh, it's also affiliated with uh, the Old Dominion University, uh, U.S. Navy, and Department of Defense. And um, yeah, I kind of known about that i almost got involved with that i just didn't have the time but uh so cool to catch them as they're getting ready to take off and go do their experiment uh that was neat i'm starting to finally hear uh australia let's see if we can make a contact down to uh vk land uh, station calling vk2 italy whiskey united can i have your call again over yes the call is kilo four oscar golf oscar uh, QSL, QSL, you are 5x3, five 5x3, by three, five by three. I am portable, 20 watts in Virginia. QSL to 5 and 3, kilowatt 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, thank you for 5 and 3, you are 5 and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, not a stellar morning, but not a bad one either. I wanted to get out here and build that antenna. Now, if you think about it, the length of that antenna is just slightly shorter than the Ribikoff antenna, but uh, there's some matching issues there. You could see the four to one just wasn't quite getting it done. If you were looking at the meter when I was talking, even after I tuned it, you could see uh, my uh, SWR was bouncing around. I think this antenna would be uh, a decent, better antenna with a matching unit that really matched because uh, the four to one, it got it in range for the tuner. It still wasn't bad. But look, I still talked to Australia with it and that was the only uh, VK that I could hear was uh was that one um and then after that it was really crazy uh i could i went back to 40 this thing like just was almost resonant on 40 it was great hardly needed a tuner's work at all but um i, I did make a contact on 40 i heard a uh, am in pennsylvania a 40 meter am contact on uh on there and tried to tried to make contact with them but uh didn't get back over to him so um yeah, all, all in all, it was fun. Now, the reason I built this antenna is because I like building wire antennas more than anything. There's nothing more satisfying than um, cutting a wire, putting it up and experimenting. And this is a 3 8 wave for 20 meters. It's something I've never built before and I wanted to do. Like I said, I did get a comment. Um, hey, I guess you've abandoned wire antennas. I have not. I love it. It's my number one love. Hey, I've written a book on wire antennas. If you're interested in the book, I'll put a link below to both the ARRL link and the um, uh, Amazon link if you're interested in the book. But um, guys, I, I'm a YouTuber and, uh, and I like to play with everything and do videos about every antenna possible. For me, I like to do that because I'm learning. I learn so much from playing with different things. So see me out with a uh, telescopic whip or uh, something that's a coil and all that together. That's just me learning and trying to uh, see how I can do with that. That JPC-12 antenna I've got now, I built a, put a different base plate on it, modified it, uh, put a cap hat on it. That's the first time I'd ever operated with a cap hat on the top of an antenna. That was pretty cool. So um, yeah, it's all about experimenting. Same with uh, the other comment I got. It's like, I guess you're, uh, you've given up on the J90. Well, that's why I brought that out today. No, I haven't. I love different radios. And experimenting with them that way when i'm talking about them to other hands i know what i'm talking about i've used the radio before and that's really what it's all about so um yeah i just wanted to get out today and um and show you guys that i like playing with all antennas i know i've been pretty hot and heavy on the uh 
the other stuff, but that's only because of conditions and situations and um, getting it in and out and getting up and having fun with it. And I'll be honest with you, I love those antennas. I've had some great times with them as well. Anyway, enough of me rambling. It's uh, I'm going to get back and um, I probably mess around today. I don't have many more days off before I'm getting back to work. So um, this uh, video won't have me stopping in at breakfast anywhere. I'm going to get home and uh, and, and go uh, enjoy the rest of the day later with my wife. If you're into portable ham radio, um, building antennas, playing with antennas, playing with small radios, big radios, all kinds of stuff, HF radio on the ham radio, that's what I'm all about. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.